guys, Merry Christmas. This is our last book for the 25 days of Christmas. Today we have, it's a little golden book. It's called Santa's Toy Shop. Yeah, it's one that I had when I was a kid. I remember this story. Yeah. Way up north in the land of ice and snow stands a cozy little house. And beside the front door hangs a neat little sign. S. Claus, says the sign. Because that is who lives there, Santa Claus. Mrs. Santa Claus lives there too, of course. She keeps house for Santa Claus and for all the elves who work in Santa's toy shop. And what a busy place that toy shop is. In the doll department. In the train department. In the game and building set department. In dozens of departments up and down the halls, happy little Christmas elves are busy all year long making and trying out the toys. Oh, everyone is busy in Santa's toy shop, but Santa Claus is the busiest of all. He shows the doll makers how to paint on smiles. I'll take a day off soon, says Santa Claus, and play. But letters keep coming from boys and girls, wanting talking dolls and cowboy boots, talking horses and fireman suits. I'm just too busy, Santa Claus sometimes says. I never have time to play with the toys. And most of those children have been so good, Santa has to do his best to please them. So the days whiz by in Santa's toy shop, and soon it is Christmas Eve again, and Santa Claus has still not played with a single toy. Oh, jumping jacks, said Santa Claus last Christmas Eve as Mrs. Claus buttoned up his warm red coat. Now I have to give all of these toys away, and I never will get to try any out. And he almost scowled, but Mrs. Claus whispered something into Santa's ear, and he left the house chuckling to himself. Wonderful idea, the reindeer heard him say as they waited at the door hitched to the heaped up sleigh. Then all night long around the world they flew, and Santa dropped down chimneys with his load of toys, or slipped in doors or windows where the chimney was too small. The load grew lighter in the sleigh as they went, and at last Santa Claus was slipping down the chimney into the very last house on his list. There he found a Christmas tree all set up, and he put the final touches on it and lit all the lights. He found a plate of cookies and a glass of milk with a note that said, For dear Santa Claus. So he sat himself down and had a bite of lunch. Then he unpacked the toys, as he always does, but he did not hustle right away. Not this time. No. He set up the new electric train and sent it speeding around the track and through the tunnel. He sent the mall airplane spinning around the Christmas tree. And he built the whole village with Christmas blocks. When Santa had tried every Christmas toy, back home he flew in his magical sleigh to Mrs. Santa Claus. Never have I had such fun, Santa told Mrs. Santa Claus. I did as you suggested and stopped at the last house. And he whispered the children's name in his ear, in her ear. Do you think he might pick your house to stop at this year? That is... The little golden book is Santa's Toy Shop. Bye, guys. And remember, have a Merry Christmas. Bye.